What's going on everybody? It's the Creative Pro checking back in with another episode of Fireside Tech for you guys. And today we're gonna to be doing something a little different. We'll be reviewing the Zion Crane V2. I wanna remind you guys real quick to hit the big red subscribe button if you have yet to already. Also hit that notification bell just for fun. So let's jump into giving this a review. Okay, so when you order your crane, you get this awesome carrying case. We're gonna go ahead and open up this case here and boom here's what we get inside so you're gonna see the bottom of the handle first and these are where the batteries go into plus side facing up and you also get a battery charging pack here and a cable cord to go with that so you can plug it into your computer you get your two lithium batteries here a couple of mounting screws with the lens mount as well and this is the actual gimbal itself what we have here is a super high quality three access gimbal. So who would most benefit from something like this? I'd say this crane is best for anybody who's looking to achieve that smooth cinematic footage. This is what's gonna help get you there. Easy to use and a small investment to get cinematic footage. A couple of cons are is when you first start balancing it, it's kind of hard to get used to it. Once you have it balanced and say you move the LCD screen in, you have to reset your balance again. In the past, I've had problems upgrading the firmware, but I'd say personally, there's a lot more pros than cons when it comes to this crane. A couple of alternatives are the version up, it's called the Crane 2, which allows you to hold heavier DSLRs, or you can also get a similar look using a glide cam. Personally, I think this product is worth every penny. Why don't we get it set up and I'll show you how to turn it on. Pop in, plus is facing up. I'm gonna have the handle here. Screw it on top. What I also invested in was the mini tripod, and I put this on the bottom here. Open these legs up, boom. A mounting screw, the camera itself. So what you're gonna do is grab, we're gonna match the bottom into the slide here so we can put the screw in like this. Just gonna do a quick balance here so it's all even. Before you turn your crane on, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's balanced because the batteries will end up working double time and you're gonna lose a lot of power. So you won't get to shoot for as long. All right, so it looks balanced and ready to go. You're gonna to wanna to hit the power button once and then hold it down until you see the blue light come on. Our crane is turned on. Just put these legs down. So when we first have our crane turned on, it's in the pan follow mode. So if you could see, I'm turning my wrist left and right, and it's panning in the same direction that I'm turning. Now to get into locked mode, we're gonna hit the mode button once. And now you can see the camera is locked on a certain position. I'm twisting, it's not panning left or right. It's locked in there on the one spot. This will be pan tilt. We're gonna double kick the mode button here. And now all our tilts are gonna be followed. So tilting down, tilting up. Just quickly flip it over so it's inverted. And now you're able to run this low to the ground. This can almost simulate a fast drone shot, a low drone shot. So if you get your footage nice and steady, and you speed it up and post, you can get a really cool look using this. It's inverted mode, and just quickly to get it back, we're gonna flip this way. There's your main modes on the crane. What I also like about this crane is how super versatile it is. We can simply flip this down here. And at the bottom here, you have a, a little adapter, so you can put here. Now we could take the mounting plate, screw it onto here. Just make sure your tripod can withstand the actual weight of the crane and the camera itself. So we can set it up like that, lock it in. And now our crane is set up on the tripod here. So I like to do this for time lapses. If I'm doing a moving time lapse, then I know it's stable on here and I can set up the keyframes and there will be no movement. And we can also do the same with a monopod. So All right, and now 
we have our crane set up on a monopod. This gives us more length to hold on to, and it's actually a little bit easier to hold. And now you can use the crane and the monopod to fake a drone shot, or even get over big crowds if you're at an event and you wanna get smooth footage over everybody, you can use it like this. It can even be good for sliding shots. So our dolly out and our dolly in. So yeah, once you get this crane, it's up to you to get creative with it. There's so much you could do, and that's why I like its versatility. There's tons of accessories you can get for the crane. A couple I decided to go with myself was the wireless remote controller. And this, you can mount onto the dual handlebar system. So all you have to do with the dual handlebar is make sure the ZY logo is matched up with our thumb controller here in the middle and now bring it up to the second ring just underneath it and we're going to tighten that in right now. We can now move to putting other, other handlebars on. You want to make sure the knobs match up on the same side so they're all facing the back and the other one here. All right, now we have our dual handlebar attached. We're gonna go ahead and put on the wireless remote. Now, the reason why this wireless remote works so good with the dual handlebar is when you're using the handlebars, your hands are out to the side. So say you wanna pan your camera up or down, you can't really get your thumb all the way over to the middle to do that while you're holding it. So to get this remote on, we have to press the power button once at the same time and hold it down. And now you can see they're paired together. Now your crane is successfully attached to the dual handlebar system. You can see I'm controlling the camera, having my thumb over here. I like using this handlebar too because it lets you distribute the weight a little bit different. And also on here you have mounting screws so you can get a monitor, which is what I'm looking into getting next. The crane itself is just a pretty cool rig. There's a lot you can do to it. There's a lot you can add to it. The crane has a maximum payload of 1800 grams, so that comes out to be just under four pounds. The actual crane itself weighs 950 grams, which is just about two pounds. The batteries inside that you get last anywhere from 10 to 12 hours, depending on how you're balancing it. And if you really wanna get in and tweak the motor functions, you can use the ZY Play app. It gives you the ability to control all the motor functions. You can do time lapses and a whole bunch of other tweaks inside of the app. So all you have to do is make sure your Bluetooth is on on your phone. We're gonna go to the ZY Play app. I'm gonna scroll to the right and find your crane that you're using. I am right here, the crane connect, crane 522. So now we're inside of the app and in here, you can change the resolution, white balance, flash. We have the time lapse, moving time lapse. The bottom left gear tab is where you can control the calibration, advance, and general. So we have we can control our follow rate, our control rate, our smooth degree, and our dead zone. Also, reverse control. So you can control the actual controller by selecting remote control here. And now we're in pan follow mode. So I'm just using the phone right now to control the movements. Go locking mode. This is for your Dutch shots. So you can really get in there and customize the functions to your liking. So that pretty much wraps it here for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the review on the Zion Crane V2. And if you're looking at actually getting this gimbal yourself, check out the description box below. I've linked in the crane itself, the dual handlebar system, and also the wireless remote. Like this video if you guys did. Share this video if you think it would help anybody. I hope you guys crush this upcoming week, and I can't wait to see you guys next Sunday in front of this fire. It's a creative fro, and I'm out.